Well, we just pulled into Quartzsite, Arizona, and uh, a lot of room down here, folks. If you want to come down, the Canadians didn't make it, can't cross their border. So uh, lots of room in Quartzsite, decently warm, at least it's 60 degrees, bit of a breeze blowing today, it's supposed to be kind of calm tomorrow, looking forward to it. Set up the clam shelter. It's really nice to give Linda a nice sheltered place to cook. What are you making? Stew. Woohoo! That looks good. It's kind of a cool day, so beef stew sounds good. I agree with that. I've been asked numerous times whether it's really important to be able to tilt your solar panels. And that depends. So let's take a look at the uh, differences that it makes if you lay it down or stand it up. What we're going to do is plug in this jackery because we can read the, wire, the uh, wattage right off the uh, panel of the jackery there. And while you can read the wattage, I'm going to go up on the ladder here and I'm going to uh, lower that panel down and you can see what the difference is. Let's get started and take a look at that. Okay, well right now you can see that it's right about, you know, high 70s. Looks like 79, 83 watts going into the jackery. I'm going to go up on the roof now and lower it down. Okay, Linda, I'm lowering it down. All right. Watching it. Oh, 59, 42, 39. 39 watts. 38. Okay. 40, yeah. All right, I'm going to raise it back up again, okay? Okay. Okay. Are you up? Yeah. Yep. It's back to 79, 80 watts. All right. <laughs> it's quite a difference there between um, flat and... About 50%, yeah? Yeah. That's a huge difference. Now we just need you up there all the time. Up, <laughs> down, up, down. <laughs> well, what I think here is if you're in the uh, mid latitudes, like, um, like the United States is, then probably in the summertime, you probably don't need to raise your panel up and down. And you, you can probably get away with just leaving it flat. But we're down here in Arizona now, and this is January, and the sun is low in the sky, probably 45 degrees above the horizon or something like that. It's always in your eyes. And uh, yeah, that makes a big difference. So if you're using your RV in the wintertime, and you're, you know, then, then tilting the panel is going to make a big difference. Of course, you could always just put up another panel. Like, for example, today I would have to put up, that's a 200 watt panel. So to get the same reading as when it's tilted, I would have to have a second 200 watt panel to get it up to that 80 watts that's incoming. Otherwise, you just have to tilt the panel you got. The other thing we tilt the panel for is when we're back up in Montana during the winter, <laughs> I tilt it up so the snow, fly, so the snow uh, falls off of it. it, makes it easier to get the snow off. <laughs> True that. Yeah, I got to keep the house battery charged during the winter time. If you don't keep a battery charged, it'll freeze. As long as you keep it charged, it won't freeze. Of course, if it freezes, it's toast. Toasted battery. Mm, right. Yum. The other thing you need to do is if you don't keep your battery charged in your RV is you need to take it inside, keep it charged. Now, a gel cell battery, you don't have to do that because gel cell batteries don't freeze. From what, That's my understanding. I've just got a regular deep cycle lead acid battery on this RV. Hey, and by the way, that's a Walmart battery that's been on here for, oh, I don't know, three years? Yeah, a long time. Like and it's been outside in the freezing weather and... Yeah, I've kept it charged, though. weather and, I mean, you know. Right. But I just learned recently on the YouTube channel Project Farm that Walmart batteries are actually pretty good. He did a bunch of testing on them, and uh, Walmart batteries tested right up there at the top. So, you know... If you need a good battery, just go to Walmart nowadays. They're not made in China, they're made in the U.S. Yeah. Who'd have thunk, yeah. Oh, 
Well, one of the things you can do down here in Quartzsite is go to the swap meet, which is absolutely huge. You can buy everything from a spare tire for your trailer to a loaf of bread. It's packed. It's all over town, mainly on the south side, I guess, but on the north side too, the north side of the freeway and hundreds and hundreds of uh, shops. It's a fun thing to do. Thank you. Thank you. I can wait with you. <laughs> I spent money. A couple years I have that. The cake plate. Yeah. But of course, the swap meet uh, in Quartzsite is all about rocks, and there is one rock shop after another. You can find anything down here. What you got there, gold? Oh, like copper? Isn't that pretty? Copper, yeah, it's beautiful. Copper in its natural state. And polished, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's cool. Look at the beautiful wire wrap here on this piece of labradorite. Beautiful stone. And it was done by Nissa here. Isn't that nice? Yeah, thank you, Nissa. Oh, yeah, no worries. Well, I think you all know what a swap meet looks like. Linda and I went through, didn't buy a single thing. Could have spent a lot of money. I think that if you went through it at a normal pace, you know, where you kind of peruse the booths as you go along or the little shops as you go along, I think it would take you a couple of days. It's huge. Well, that's it. That's what it's like in Quartzsite this time of the year in January. Then on January 16th is what they call the big tent. I don't know. We've never been there. I think we're going to go this year. You know, when we first started coming to Quartzsite, um, we didn't know what to think. Because you're just camped out here on the flat desert. But, and then there's a the downtown area, which can be very busy. But the thing is that it caters to us folks that are down here visiting. Uh, the sh yeah, the stores are expensive. But you can go to Parker, Arizona once a week or something like that. Or to Blythe, California, which is 20 miles or so. And you can buy groceries and things like that at normal prices. But everything is in quartzite that you need. People are friendly. Out here on the desert out here, it's real relaxed. So now when we come back here, it kind of just feels like home to us. It's a very comfortable feeling. Yeah, so we like it. It's a lifestyle you got to kind of get used to. You come down here, you don't know what to expect, and you kind of got to just ease into it. If you did spend the winter down here, you can live out here on the BLM land for free. But every two weeks, you got to move. I think you got to go at least 25 miles or something like that. You'd have to look it up. And then you, you got to kind of move around a bit to different locations. And there's plenty of locations to move around to. But anyways, that's Quartzsite for you. Would well, you enjoy the swap meet? Um, yeah, the little bit we saw of it, yeah. Yeah, it we did. It was didn't. so huge. That... Gigantic. We didn't stay very long. No, <laughs> we got hungry. We had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure and come back next week and we'll see you around. <laughs>